we're going to touch on some electrical theory. It's going to change the way you think about some things. Maybe even help you with your troubleshooting someday. Help you diagnose those user errors. Coming up next, right here on Better Biomed. Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I would like to talk to you guys, we're gonna take it all the way back to electrical principles, and we're gonna go over something called duty cycle. Duty cycle is basically the period of time, and over that period of time, in percentage, it's the amount of time that a device or uh, electrical wave is on versus off. So let's say that I've got this guy here running for one minute. And then I, I leave it shut off for one minute. And then I turn it on for one minute. That's a 50% duty cycle because 50% of the time it's on, 50% of the time it's off. And let's break it down even further. See how this can go slower and faster? It's got a brushless motor. Brushless motors work on something called PWM or pulse width modulation. And pulse width modulation is basically affecting the duty cycle of the motor by affecting the amount of time that it sends a pulse to the motor over a period. So the more uh, pulses over a period of time, the faster the motor is going to go. So why would you need to know about PWM? Well, because you need to know about motors and how they're controlled. But why would you need to know uh, about something like duty cycle? Well, let me tell you a story. I walked into a neurosurgery case one time and the surgeon complained that his ESU cut off in the middle of his case. I walked over and I felt it. It was kind of warm. He was unaware that there was a duty cycle on his device. So in other words, if you do like a one minute burn, a straight one minute burn, you know, some of these surgeons are really heavy footed. He does a one minute burn on that thing. Well, guess what? There's a period of time where it has to rest. It's a cooling off period. And manufacturers have many ways of extending the duty cycle of something, sometimes up to 100%, which means you can have it on 24-7. Some devices are designed that way. But in order to do that, they have to mitigate the heat that's built up with a device using either active cooling, like fans, or passive cooling, like making a larger radiator. So you should be aware of this electrical trait, a property called duty cycle and you'll see it often in user manuals and technical literature because you might have to one day explain to your user why their device shuts off in the middle of use because they're not using it according to the manufacturer specs for its duty cycle the percentage of time a device is supposed to be activated turned on versus the percentage of time that a device is meant to be off now this can be a lots of things there's all sorts of stuff like i got I got motors in here that have a duty cycle, but if you take it back down to the simplest version of, of duty cycle, let's go over 120 volt wall electricity. It's a perfect sine wave, right? It goes up, it goes down, has positive voltage, negative voltage on the sine. Well, that is a 50% duty cycle because it's on for 50% of the time, it's off for 50% of the time. And we can mitigate that with things like bridge rectifiers, full wave bridge rectifiers that take advantage of the positive pulse and the negative pulse. That's how we increase the, the percentage of usable duty cycle on a sine wave. But it's there and it's something that you guys should be aware of. So this is just a little tidbit because it's Friday and you know sometimes I talk about this type of stuff with my fellow biomeds, something that you should be aware of because you might have to interpret uh, manufacturer specs of a device to the user and it's part of your craft duty cycle it's an electrical trait it's just a percentage of time that a device or contraption or component is on versus the period of time that it's off all right thanks for watching guys I hope you like this video give me a big old fat thumbs up in the uh, doodly do down below I appreciate it. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing something right around here. Enjoy your weekend, guys.